Hey guys, I'm Rita and I'm digital accountant. Bundle accounting software has been on my radar since 2018 and I have seen how this accounting software has developed and grown. I have listed a couple of points what might be important for you to consider before you choose to use Pandal accounting software. So let's start with a good point about Pandal. Pricing. Pandal provides only two packages. They are keeping it simple, either free package or paid package. Paid package is only £5 plus VAT per month. I have known businesses who have been using Pandal accounting software free package without need to upgrade the paid package. However, if you want automated bank feeds and upload uh, receipts, you might decide to go for a paid package. And £5 plus VAT per month, I don't think so, it's a breaking uh, bank amount. If multi-currencies are important for you, then you will be able to make transactions on Pandal free package. That means for free. However, if multi-users are important for you, you will need to go for a Pandal Pro package, which is paid package. Bank feeds and rules. So if you have opted for Pandal Pro, a paid package, you will be able to enable bank feeds which means that all transactions from your bank account will pull through to your Pandal accounting software and you will be able to check and confirm transactions uh, by categorizing them even under um, expenses uh, or income or through customer invoices paid or supplier invoices paid. Also, you will be able to use one great feature called bank rules. Bank rules works like a filter if certain condition is met, that transaction will be posted on your books or in your accounts automatically. For example, every month you have bank fees. So if you will set rule that that particular description uh, or even if it's particular amount, it, that condition is met, it will be posted on your ledger. So it will not show up on your check and confirm section. However, if you have decided not to use bank feeds, the same bank rules working on if you are doing manual imports or uploads of a bank statement on your um, Pandal accounting software. Bank rules will still work on them as well. So it will filter transactions if conditions are met and will post on your ledger. I should note if you have multiple bank accounts, you will need to select on your bank rule that this particular condition either applies to one of those bank accounts or to all of those bank accounts. Customer support and help. Pandal accounting software has free chat box and it doesn't matter if you are a free package user or paid package user. Even if you haven't logged in on your account, you will be still uh, able to reach out with your burning question on a chat box. But they have a vast or massive or huge library of tutorials, step-by-step -step guides and frequently asked questions section might be useful for you as well. Developing software. Pandal is developing software indeed. It has a minimum of two to three uh, updates a week of new features implemented. And since I have recorded my last tutorial, they actually have shared a news of a, one amazing feature so you can auto confirm a bulk um, transactions. So for example, if you have bank feed and you've got 20 transactions, once you add categories, you will be able to auto confirm all that uh, bulk section instead of uh, checking and confirming one by one. Amazing feature. And now let's have a look at some drawbacks. Accounting method. 
There are two accounting methods, traditional and cash method. And you as a sole trader most often will use a cash method. That's been money in and money out. So when money in and out happens in your bank account, you will record and that will go towards your self-assessment tax return. However, Pandal accounting software uses traditional accounting method. So once you record your customer invoice, it will automatically record in your revenue or sales section. But it doesn't mean that at the end of your tax year, that money you have actually received. So you will need to adjust for any receivables outstanding. The same applies for payables, because if you record all your supplier invoices, there will be still some outstanding on overdue supplier invoices, which you will be able to see under payables. So you will need to make adjustment on your expenses as well. And not only to that, that at the end of tax year, you need to do these two adjustments, you will also need to take into consideration for next tax year that you might need to add those receivables and payables excluded so you have full visibility on correct self-assessment submitted if you are a sole trader. If you are a limited company, not a, a lot to do because I know that the majority of limited companies use traditional accounting method and Pandal works very well for limited companies. You do not need to do any adjustments unless there are specific accounting adjustments like depreciation. Payroll. Another weak point of Pandal accounting software is payroll. You will be unable to create reports, uh, create payroll reports on Pandal accounting software and submit those directly to HMRC. You will need to use one of the multiple free available payroll accounting softwares to do it. However, there is a journal template that you will be able to use to enter your uh, information or post your wages journal on Pandal accounting software. It is easy and straightforward. It guides you what kind of amounts need to be taken and where entered. All what you will need is your payroll summary file. Pandal mobile app. Mobile app is not like for like with a desktop version on your laptop or computer. There is some missing features like settings and journal adjustments that you will be not able to access or perform on your uh, mobile app. So if you have forgot to enable your receipt uploads on Pandal Pro package. Once you will try to upload receipts on your mobile app, you will be not able to do it and it will request you to go to your settings on computer to change it and then you'll be able to access. Another picky thing what I notice, I'm calling as a picky thing, is that once you record your transactions and you don't attach receipt uh, or upload your receipt, you will be not able to attach it afterwards on your mobile app, but you will be able to attach on your desktop version. So you can later go back to that transaction and attach it. So it might be a little bit time consuming. You will be not uh, able to delete transactions or invoices on your mobile app. You will need to return back to your desktop version to delete those. In summary, this is a good accounting software for the price that will not break your bank account. And let me remind of a price, it's five pounds plus VAT per month. And if you are a small scale business, you do not need to always go for paid packages, especially if you are quite happy to do a couple of manual entries yourself and upload bank statements manually instead of going for bank feeds. Also, Pandal is making tax digital compliant accounting software and it's currently compliant for VAT. But I'm sure by 2024 it will be compliant making tax digital for income tax. I know that I mentioned about mobile app 
that has uh, downsides. However, overall, mobile app does its job. You can issue invoices, record transactions, and record supplier invoices. So 99% of your monthly or even weekly tasks you will be able to perform on Pandal mobile app. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for watching and I will see you next episode.